Friends, I have a great report for you. This past weekend, we had our annual family reunion up in Pennsylvania. And um, so let me just tell you a little bit about uh, my my typical route. The last, I would say probably the last, you know, eight, seven, eight years. So as you know, this video is entitled, you know, NASCAR Authentics 2022 uh, Wave Finds. But when I go up to Pennsylvania, and really when I travel anywhere, I'm looking at Walmarts. I'm going to a Walmart, I'm in and out, right? I'm looking to see what cars they have, walk by the paint section, and I'm out of there. So when I go up to Pennsylvania, and my family's on the western side of Pennsylvania, north of Pittsburgh, north of Pittsburgh, um, we go up, and there's two Walmarts that I, that I go to. I despise the Pennsylvania Turnpike, so I don't take that route. But I do go up uh, to Breezewood, and then from Breezewood, take I-99 North, and then go over to a town called Ebensburg off of 22. And there's a Walmart right there. And I almost always stop at that Walmart. It's just a good stopping point and see what they have. And went there uh, this past, let's see, last Friday, nothing. They had zero uh, cars, which is kind of actually rare. Uh, I normally find, you know, at least two or three I've bought 10, 12 there before. So I was kind of disappointed they didn't have anything. Well, <clears throat> then I head to my parents' hometown, which is Grove City, Pennsylvania. And Grove City, there's a small Walmart there, and they, I don't think I've ever bought a car there. It's always vacant, nothing there. It's a small Walmart, like I said. And sometimes I just don't even go just because I, I've never found anything and I just think it's a waste of time. NASCAR is not very big on the western side of Pennsylvania. So anyways, uh, get up there Friday night, Saturday. Sunday morning, I'm like, you know what? Let me run over there. Let me run over there when they open up and just let's just see. You know, I mean, I don't want to leave because we typically leave Sunday night. I don't want to leave uh, without just checking it out. I just had a, like a weird feeling, right? So I go in there <laughs> Sunday morning and I hit the jackpot. I hit the jackpot there. So uh, let me show you guys what I found. Praise the Lord. Um, you know, I'm looking for donor cars. I'm looking for uh, these new uh, 2022 Gen 7 body styles to use as donor cars. And I'm going to build up, going to build up another, probably another uh, section of my wall over here and start putting the 2022 cars on there. Because again, you know, if I can find them for you know, about $5 a piece at Walmart, that saves me from buying them from Lionel, you know, at eight, nine, ten dollars a piece, you know, when you add in shipping. And so to me, that's, that's a great find. You know, I'm getting them basically at half price uh, if I find them at a Walmart. So... Let me show you what I found, and hopefully you guys are finding them because um, I think they are uh, they are they are hitting uh, hitting the streets, hitting the WalMarts. Uh, again, I encourage you to just keep looking, just keep looking. Um, different WalMarts stock at different times. My guess, the the one in Grove City where I was at, they probably stocked on Saturday night because it was a nice, neat row of cars that were stacked up there and uh, untouched. Um, so let me stop and change the view and I'll show you what I got. All right, hold on. All right, boy oh boy guys, it was so funny. I was I was so skeptical, I'm like, you know, I'll never find anything here. Da guys, I got three bags here, three bags, um, yeah. But this is what they typically look like. See this, see this packaging? The packaging was all jacked up. You know, I don't care. A bunch of these. Wave 1, or Wave 01. These are the test cars. So I got a Camry. And I think some of you guys probably have already seen these in your Walmarts. And my video last time on Wave 2 was probably what you're having a hard time seeing. But it's funny how I found Wave 2 here at the Walmart in Virginia. And then in Grove City, Pennsylvania, found these... Uh, wave 01 so so let me walk through this these are all the ones that I found here's the 41 Stuart Haas I guess that's the uh, Briscoe right 
Look at this. The packaging was all jacked up. But I have to tell you guys, when I saw that, I, I did not know. I did not know that that they were going to make this release. I didn't look at the pictures of the release. And, you know, I think all these have the, the gray bottoms. But this Ford, as a Ford guy, I saw this. I'm like, you've got to be joking me. This is a beautiful car. It's a beautiful car. I love the blue the blue rims. I think that is awesome. I really do. Here, I, I'm, I'm not going to... I was going to hesitate opening these up, but um, I'm just going to open this one up because I just think this is so beautiful. It's a gloss blue, just sharp as anything. I think that's terrific. It's not as recessed as the other uh, rims and, and tires that we've been used to seeing the last, I don't know, 12 years. Oh, look at that. There's a little Mustang, and it's glossed up. This is like a matte finish, and there's a little Mustang there. Can you see that? See how it's glossy? That is so cool. Of course, you know, this is a donor car, but uh, it's cool for now. I guess that's a Mustang running the other way, running towards the front. No, I think this is cool. I really do. I I really like the different colored rims. That's my favorite part. But, you know, I bleed Ford blue if you cut me. Um, so, yeah, really liking that. It's a cool car. All right, let me try to get through these quickly, guys, because you probably have already seen them. Here's a, a 99 Suarez pound our house very similar to to the wave two so so I went back there and I saw the cars and in total guys I got 20 of them look at this I got 20 of them they they had so many I was just I just walked back there right so I then went back to the front and I got one of those little baskets because I wasn't going to be able to carry all 20 of them. This this is the number in the center. This is interesting, but it's the Gen 7 car with the different rims. I thought this might have been an Xfinity, but it's not. It's uh it's the Cup series. So I wonder why the numbers there. I guess test car, but they they didn't move the number forward. Same thing with this Ricky Stenhouse. This is a number in the center. Okay. I just find it interesting when they wrap these cars and they get the little creases on some of these little corners and stuff in their in their wrap. So even in their professional manufacturing line, they still get little creases on their wraps and imperfections. And so that kind of makes me feel not so bad when I make mine because inevitably I have some of those as well. <laughs> But yeah, guys, this is crazy. I I just couldn't believe they were all stacked so nice and neat too. Um, you know, here's your, you know, William Byron. And I thought this was cool. This is uh, you know, these are black. I had, you know, the the blue rims and then this Chevy has these They look gray, but they're kind of glossy. So that's just another color or rim that you can do something weird with if you want to do a special paint scheme or something. So I thought that was cool. So <laughs> I bought a hundred dollars <laughs> worth of cars at that Grove City Walmart. I got you know another blue. I think they had uh, you know two two sets of the of the ten cars for Wave. Zero one, and I just, you know, I just bought every single one of them. So, you know, if you're watching this video and you look for NASCAR race cars at the Grove City Walmart, uh, I, I I just apologize because I bought every single one that they had. I'm only up there, you know, three probably three four times a year. Uh, my parents live there, and and I go up to visit. Um, but yeah, I bought all 20 of them and that's what I got guys. Absolutely blessed to be able to find all of these gen seven cars. So yeah, what a blessing. Let me show you, uh, what else I got while I was gone. Um, while I was gone, I had talked to Simon, uh, Simon Diecast and he sent me 
Uh, this is a, a, a special paint scheme that he made. It's with Michael McDowell's Love Scheme, and it's got his Simon Diecast number four logo on it. And so he sent me this decal sheet uh, for you know for me to make so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna make it at some point this looks like a gen 6 Mustang but um, but yeah thanks Simon appreciate that and this will be my very first 2022 car this is the Cole Custer chicken cock whiskey um, uh, Simon had reached out to me he said hey would you like would you like one of these and so uh, sent him four bucks and he sent me this so I'm going to go ahead and make one with uh, with that uh, Ford black car that I had uh, recently um, opened up for you guys on my last video, or a few videos back, and just painted it black and was going to set it aside, but yeah, so I haven't ordered any 2022 decals from Pato yet. I've got a lot of customs to make, if you're waiting for customs, you know, I apologize. It's just, you know, I've got a lot. I've got a lot of orders in. Uh, I can show you my next round of, of cars that I'm going to make real quick. So, Marshall, I've got your two there. I've got that one um, to make the uh, Dale Earnhardt special. And then I've got a couple for you, John. Uh, your Michael Annette's. And then uh, Sergio, your your pedigree number 18, and Doug, your uh, Ken Seth number 18. Uh, that's the next row of customs that I'm going to be making, uh, apart from uh, the cars that I just put together, as you can see, the ones that I just uh, JB welded. Uh, those are all going to be made soon. I'm going to work on this little truck here right now. So, but yeah, guys, that's what I found. So stoked. Tons of these cars. Uh, keep looking, guys. Don't lose hope. You will find them. Uh, yeah, I've been working through the book of James, and uh, James says that the the trying of your faith builds patience. <laughs> and of course, that's a much greater spiritual truth. But in our little crazy 164 custom diecast hobby. Uh, it also applies uh, in that little fun, goofy way. Just endure the trials of getting shut down or seeing the the shelves of Walmart barren. Keep looking. Keep trusting the Lord to provide those cars for you. And He will eventually bless you. So, take care. God bless. And we will talk to you in the next video.